Sponsored by WinWing Technologies. Once again, another bright idea that balances versatility and realism. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. A few days ago we did this, MiG-29 and SU-27 in a beyond visual range fight versus MiG-31 and SU-35. So that was Ukrainian frontline fighters versus Russian frontline fighters. And we just do it because it's a bit of fun and it's genuinely interesting. The follow-up, as per your request, is this. Frontline Russian fighters versus frontline European fighters. Russian. SU-35S, MiG-31BM. European, Jazz 39C Gripen, and we wanted this to be the Eurofighter, the Typhoon Eurofighter. However, as of the last patch, the Eurofighter has stopped working in DCS for all of us at GR, which is problematic, and we didn't want to wait. So, we're going to replace it temporarily with the Swiss frontline fighter, which is the FA-18C. It's not as good as the Eurofighter, but it's the best we can do. So let's see how these guys match up. Aircraft loadouts for today. SU-35S Superflanker, a real mean beast of an air superiority fighter. Two modernized archers, digital seeker heads, and 10 modernized long-range adders. Range probably well over 100 miles, I think we've tried. Foxhound, two legacy archers. We can't get it to carry the modernized archers. And uh, one, two, three, six giant modernized axe heads these are like modernized phoenixes real mean pieces of kit and they'll fly 160 miles possibly more so worryingly high amounts of tech from the russian frontline fighters swedish grip and c we don't have the echo model in game with two close range irsts and four meteors these are ramjet equipped long range missiles, uh, all these big ones are Fox 3s today, uh, range well over 100 miles. The Eurofighter, if we could have got it working, would have had the same stuff, Iris Ts or maybe uh, Azrams and a bunch of Meteors, but we don't have that. So instead, we've got the good old-fashioned Bog. It's going to be equipped with Murder Bog. So we've got two AIM-9Xs and 10 AIM-120 C5s. Now that in DCS, that's a pretty good loadout. But for these modern fights that we do, so these fights that would actually happen now in 2022, that is pretty outdated. That's 20-year-old technology, uh, whereas this stuff is all brand new technology. So it's going to be really interesting. We've not tried it out. We've just made sure the mods work, but we've not actually done any proper uh, tactical testing. The fight will be our usual BVR style fight. We've got a play area of 90 by 70 miles. You must stay within that rectangle please. The ground is kind of simulating Ukraine. It's quite flat but we've got a hill in the middle just to give us something uh, uh, to play with which leaves us in terms of our predictions. Our manpower today is Cap, Sock, Grump, Red, Tuxor and Violet. Say hello guys. Hello. Hello, hello Red. Hello. Like, Hello? Like all of GR, we're completely mixed skills. Some are good, some are not so good. Uh, so we'll swap round to make the sides fair. Predictions. Modern Russian stuff versus European stuff. Who's there to put a prediction? I'm just here for the mods. I'm, I'm going to say so modern Russian. Fine. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Right. Brilliant. <laughs> Excellent feedback, guys. Um, my feedback is I want Europe to win. Obviously, I'm European, and it's a shame I can't put my asset, the Typhoon, in. But I'm pretty sure Russia is going to win this. It's just got superior firepower. It's as simple as that, guys. Uh, stand by for first battle. Round one. I am Griepen, Violet, uh, Bog, Damp, Superflanker, Tuxel, Foxhound. We've had a bit of a chat about this because we know that they have the superior weapons overall. We are going to have Violet try and get low and towards that hill to try and shield herself from the axe heads and whatnot. I am going to essentially stay back a bit more and just long bomb with my meteors. I'm ready. The very best of luck. Three, two, one, go. Okay, valued humanoids, let's get this thing set up. Ping, check. Ping, check. Right, I am scanning. Oh, this thing's loud. I'm going to hit the deck. I'll jump. Have us targets, two of them already. TWS. Okay, I'm launching one into space already. At 70 miles. Go on, Meteor. Woohoo! Super long range ramjet right. missile. Roger. Right, I got one missile and one guy. What about that guy Shoot. Shoot. Yes, I've already got a missile out on that guy. 
Right, I'm going to go into a defensive uh, crank. Ah, oh, there's the other one. No. Yep, there's the other one. I need to separate them. Ah, dang it. Oh, sorry, I said I was going to go into a defensive crank. I'm going to put them off to my 45 degrees or so. Sounds a better chance of going defensive on their missiles when they fire at me. Are you on the deck, Violet? Yep. I see I'm at uh, 500 feet off the ground. Annoyingly, I just locked the locks lock, so I'm going into a notch just to be defensive. It's frustrating, value viewers. That's how it is. So there is Violet. Is my missile going to do anything useful? It appears that it's no longer tracking. No, it is tracking. Look at that. Oh, you never know. It might work. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, I don't want to charge in. I want to do long bombs, so I'm just going to do a 360. Copy. No sign of any obvious hostile missiles coming in yet. Right, I'm pointing my nose hot now. What can we see? Okay, here are two bandits. One Shoot. and two. Shoot. Both locked up. And 40 miles. Cap is... Launch one. Launch two. Shoot. Right, I've got two long-range missiles on them. 40 and 50 miles. Missile on me. Roger, I get defensive. I've got long-range meteors on them. There's a good chance I can kill them. Copy. 20 miles. I'm launching this guy as a priority target now. He's notching me at 20 miles. Can't beat my radar. He's going defensive. Well done, well done, well done. There Not he is. Quiet. I see him face firing a missile down at you. Shit, I've lost lock. I'm chasing him down. Oh, this is turning into quite the battle. Right. I'm going to have a pop at this guy. Shoot. Shoot. 30 miles. Okay. Meteor out. Right. All around the center region now. Damn, I lost lock. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Turning hot. All right, I'm going to pressure them. I'm going to pressure them. They don't know I'm out of missiles. Still got my uh, Azrams, uh, my whatever they are. Another missile on me. All right, try and beat it. I got 20 miles now. I'm down. Dang it! Watch out. Do you still have guns? Yep, yep, yep. I'm just trying to find him. Where are you, young man? Ten miles. Where the heck is he? Don't know how to read his altitude. He is. Where does it say his altitude? Where does it say his altitude? Oh man! I. It doesn't show me where he is. It doesn't show me his altitude. Not a lot I can do. Hope for the best. Right in front of you. Roger. Evading. We were solidly beaten there. Indeed we were. The Griepen doesn't show me where he is, so there's, there's almost nothing I can do. Very frustrating. Right, that was a lot yep. harder than I thought it was going to be, guys. Bloody hell. Uh, right, here now we let's go. Let's see where I went wrong. So the first thing I did was pop a long-range missile at about 70 miles. But I did lose... Wow, God, it doesn't even loft look. But I did lose track on you annoyingly. There was undulating terrain in the middle there, by the way. We detected your missile oh, uh, nice. going after Tuxer, so he went cold. I stayed going in. Right, yeah. I got lock. I fired on. We fired at each other. I good, start. Good defensive notch there from um, Tuxor. That, that's why you beat my missile. Good show. Uh, Damp Sock starts pushing out the modernized adders at 30 nautical miles. Plus an R3 from Tuxor. Uh, which is the R33, by the way. I TWS'd a couple of uh, meteors out, which don't appear to have tracked. Look at, look at Tuxor fighting that Amram there, uh, meteor there. I went straight past my cockpit. Oh, man, that's so frustrating. Okay, my defensive notch, turn away, yes, go you cold. Yes, you did. It's a thick air. All defeated each other's missiles. We were kind of racetracking a bit. Yeah, you are. He, also, we've got he an turns back in. Got an aggressive missile out from... Oh, no, it's me there. Uh, another one. 
Yeah, they're notching you guys, especially Tuxel's doing And then there's the R3 that took me out. Oh, wow, look at that thing travel. Look at it, it's reacquired and... Wow. That is... That's such a good missile, man, in game at least. Right, then it's... Hey, now, this is the point. I would have had... Uh, who am I locked onto? I'm chasing Tuxel. I would have had him, but... I can't see damp because of the Doppler effect. I'm against Tuxel. But the problem, as you'll find in a minute, guys, when you use the Greepen, is it doesn't show you on the HUD where the baddie is. And I couldn't work out on the radar his altitude. It's just I haven't used it for too long. So I didn't know whether you were a deck or Angel's 30. So I just had to kind of blunder along and try and figure it out as I went. And then, then ended up just flying into you. And, and that was that. No amount of barrel rolling is going to dodge a bloody modernized axe head. Right. Uh, completely thrashed in every way there. Excellent flying from Reds. Uh, we're going to do swapsy swapsies. Round two, we have Violet in the bog again. Damp, Greepen, Grump, Mig, Red, SU-35. Guys, we will start in three, two, one, go. I will watch, but not cheap. I've turned my mic off so they can't hear me, but I can hear them. I can hear Blue Four at least. Uh, and I can see both, so... Okay, watching a TWS. Wow, that was quick, son. There we go. Missile out. Copy. Copy. I'm pulling a... Missile on me. Going off to the side. Go down, hit the deck. Lost lock. Lock rear fired. My lock is done. Okay, he's back on me. I'm pulling back on him. Fox 3. Notching to the side. Okay, I'm going back. I'm pulling too close. I'm turning around. Oh, pilot. I'm hitting the deck. Jesus Christ. Just barely dodged that missile. That's Good job. That's too good, that Ang said. Okay, this was interesting. This is tracking, I think. That's tracking. Jesus, a massive kill. A 70 mile kill on MiG 31. Oh, MiG 31 down. Trump's dead. Amazing, Copy. that meteor. Turning hot. Slinging at 70 Copy. miles. The MiG 31 is down, only the Sioux left. These long range missiles become a real long-range tennis match. Dud. This one's a dud. Remember, they can't hear me, so I'm not cheating. Okay, tell me what you're doing. I'm not seeing uh -oh. anybody on radar. Uh-oh. Okay, tell me where where you are. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think I see a missile out. Yep. Violet's in trouble. She's not dodging that. Oh, good dodge, Violet. She is on form today. Great notch. I see where that missile came from. Amazing work. Is it going to rear around? see if I can't get lock on him. Is it going to rear corner? I'm turning around just in case it's mine. Oh, I see something. Okay, here we go. Current range is... Eyes on. 35 nautical miles. Violet's pushing at... Who is this? Fox 3. Red. Red's fired again. Boom. Two axe heads out. TWS. No, sorry. Oh, adders. Adders. And we've got a meteor out as well. Violet's been a distractor. That's a good. We play. got track on that Yeedy boy. Red's gone straight into a null. Oh, he's Ditch out. The missile. Okay, ditching, ditching. I'm going low to the ground, running away. Okay, what's going to happen now? Has Violet done enough to beat these axe uh, adders? Sorry. Fox three. She's doing Copy. well with much older technology. Oh, more adders out. This meteor is doing its thing. It's just chugging along. 700 knots. Could be enough. It's, it's just like Beggar's Canyon back home. It's surfing. I think Violet's dead, but she's wasted a lot of the hostile missiles. Okay, turn it back around. I just hit the ground. Oh, damn. I'm happy. She, at least she's used those missiles. Oh, oh, where did Red's that come dead. from? Got him. Jesus, that missile just got surfed him. into him. Yeah, no, I got him. Red's dead. Oh, okay. Amazing. Well done, guys. Copy. I won't bother doing a tap view to that one because I was watching it and the viewers could see it. But roughly what happened, it was an amazing match. Damp was slugging missiles in there at 80 miles. Grump was slugging missiles right back. Grump's missiles came within inches of Violet. It was just Violet's good notching that managed to dodge them. So that was great work. 
then it was kind of two on one and then damp fire just hail mary again 50 miles with a meteor and then between that while that was traveling a big battle ensued where violet ended up getting killed pressured into the ground by um adders and the in the meantime the missile that uh, sock had fired slowly worked it surfed its way to red at about 400 knots and as, as it was just falling out of the sky it fell on top of red it really wasn't a one in a million hail mary that was really good fight there guys Which, guys it shows that um you can win you just need a decent um griepen pilot and you need a decent win. distraction. <laughs> you do, you do. And you distracted probably eight or nine missiles, Violet, uh, which is oh, really yeah. important. And they would have been going for damp otherwise. Right, stand by. Round three. Uh, myself, MiG-31. Tuxor is in a super flanker. Grump. Bog. Red. Griepen. Uh, we've had a chat and we're going to do some long-range sniping and general conservation. Hopefully that will work. Uh, Tuxor 3, 2, 1, go. Um, I'm going to zoom off to do the first shot. So if you hold back, I'll zoom off so that we can phase. Foxhound to space. Target found. Target not locked. Slightly out of range. Can you fire at this range? I can't fire quite yet. Negative can't lock yet. Stand by. No, I can't lock yet either. Uh, I will be locking very shortly by the looks of things. Yeah, I'm locked now. Okay, you take you take the shot. Okay, Fox 3 and I've been fired on. Nice. Right. You go and defend that missile, I'm going to follow up. Ha! Ah, I can see his missile. I've never seen that before. I can see his missile. Right, but well, that appears to be you that's been fired on. And yep. not me. me. I'm going to shoot his missile down. No, I can't. Oh, I'm shooting his missile down. Cap is firing at the uh, meteor because we've got more missiles. Oh, I lost lock. But damn it. Something's happening over there. Something's happening over there. Right, where are we? Where's our situation awareness? I think I'm clean. My missiles for tracking something. I'm not getting no BB beeps. Launch. Cap target. Oh, and missile away. Oh, boom. Okay, so maybe I am still. Cap going. Defensive crank. Preparing to dodge, I've gone quite far, so I'm about to come cold. Just wait for my missile. Look at that thing go. Die, stupid grief, and die. I'm getting shot. I'm getting out. Going into a notch. Right, you can go offensive. Uh, yes, I got Grump. Cap safe. Cap cold. Right, we just got the Griefen to kill. Maximum speed. Beat the missile. Maximum speed. To you. Maximum speed. Oh, I'm hit. Sorry. Maximum Good luck. Speed. Damn it. Okay, I'm muted so he can't hear me. Here we go. Distance is 26 miles. That is lethal range for both of these aircraft. They are cranking each other. It looks like Red's found him. 20 miles. It's ready. Who find each other on the radar first? Now he's going to win. Both going towards Bullseye. Uh, one's at Angels 28, one's at Angels 12. Should be seeing each other. This guy's in a notch, so Tuxel can't see him with the radar. Oh. There's a giveaway. Sweeping their radar, trying to find each other. Distance down to 10 miles. Place your bets now, please. At this range, you can't really dodge those big missiles, so whoever finds each other first. Tuxel's going cold now. They're both going cold now. They've just missed each other for whatever reason. Maybe a difference in altitude. No, I don't know what it is. Okay, they've done their cold leg and they're turning hot again. Has he seen him? Has he seen him? No. Tux will see him first. That is a dead red, I'm afraid. Not much you can do to beat that. And it's in full flow. Boom. 
good shot. What a match that was. That was friggin' awesome. This is turning out to be a much better match than I thought, guys. I thought, thought it was going to be a walkover, but not so much. Right, first missile was going out at... Uh, it was mm, No, it was Tuxor, wasn't it? And they were firing roughly at... Uh, whatever that says. 52 nautical miles. Uh, we had a Meteor and an Advanced Adder exchanged. I followed up. Tuxor uh, went defensive. I put a whopping great R3 in. Uh, I've actually fired it at your Meteor, strangely enough. But it didn't track and it spooned. Which is a little bit annoying. Meanwhile, your Meteor went... Oh, got right by me. But it went for acquired Tuxor by the looks of it. It turns out my R3 was actually acquiring red. How did he dodge that? Look at that. It did acquire red. Oh, by the skin of his teeth. Red uh, avoided that. I put another R3 in. Although I can't remember what I shot it at. So I come out and found Grump. Unfortunately, the uh, Legacy Hornet in this, it really is outmanned and outgunned in, well, every way. Got a Meteor from Redo on cap at 24 miles, which for a modern missile is pretty much lethal range. Grump takes it in the face from that Mega R3, which is still going 2,500 knots. And nothing he could have done about that. This Meteor is chasing me. I notch, I dive, I do everything I can. I figure it's run out of legs at this point, but it's stupid. Uh, Ramjet Sustainer keeps it going. And I'm going 700 knots. It's going, yep. Oh, God, it's so awkward. Right, squares it up. Both then posture their side of bullseye, which is pretty much what you'd expect them to see, looking for each other. And it just so happens that every time one's got his nose on the other guy, the other guy's notching. And the radar can't see a guy when he's notching. So you've got this weird circumstance at the moment where uh, they just can't see each other. That guy's looking, that guy's notching. Do a full uh, turn round, and then, because they don't want to overcommit, turn in. It just so happens to Tuxor finds uh, Red before he finds him. At seven miles, there's nothing he can do. Really good match. I think we'll do one more, guys. Uh, yes, Tuxor. I saw him with my eyes before the radar ah. did, to be fair. How did you did you pick him up on BBR radar to actually fire or Yeah, I did, yeah. I mm. literally it was eyes first and then I saw it on well, the radar. Uh, that's one thing. We've got we lucky in GR that we've got lots of actual fight pilots that fly for us. Uh, most of them retired. And they teach us things like this about even if you're in a fancy jet with all these displays and stuff like that, if there's any chance the bandit could be close, you better be looking outside, which is exactly where I cocked up a minute ago actually. Uh, I am in Super flanker. Sock is my wingman in MiG-31. He's going low. I'm going high against Violet in the F-18. Violet's in the F-18 a lot because that's all she's got. And Grump is today's Griepen pilot. Will him be on pausing in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, Sockington, I'm going high. Let's go. I do like me a super flanker. Okay, Sockington, I've got one of them on the ye old radar, although I can't lock yet. Maximum speed. Yeah, it does that, doesn't it? Try to go 2,000 true. Nice. Box three. Wow, that was quick, Sock. Well done. Just gonna have a look at that missile. That missile is so brutal. Look at that, it's doing 2,500 knots at ground level. It probably can't do that in real life, but what are you gonna do? That's how it works in game. The surface would just get so hot if it went that high, that, low, that fast, that low down. It's probably the best missile uh, in today's fight. Found something. Don't know what it is, but I'm gonna lock it and shoot it. Can't lock, yeah. They're blocking me. I'm going defensive. Roger. Okay, I'm starting to fire sock. And Fox 3. Missile out. Boom, boom, boom. Firing again, cap. On a notching target. Copy. Turning. Turning back in. You can Roger. go defensive if you need. Yeah. Let me check the SA. There's you. There's me. Okay, we've got all sorts of missiles out on them, which is nice work. I've got the guy going to our right. If you can have a look for the guy on our left. That would have both covered there. I think it's the Hornet gone right. Yeah, I got a missile out. No missile's on me. All right, you go defensive. I'm going to try and... Okay, I've lost. Teddy, all right, I'm coming down. having a look. Target. Where is it? Got it. Yep, found a guy. And cap. Fox 3. On a target. Just... Just one of them. Don't know which one it is. You alive, Sock. Yep, I'm alive. Cap. I'm just being Had defensive. Around. Right, I've got to kill this guy. Yeah, I've defeated it. Well done. I have eyes on a target. I'm trying to track, track his notching. All over him like a cheap suit. Come on, where are you, young man? There you are. Okay, I'm 30 kilometers. 
cap, out or out? Copy, I'm on your tail, I'm backing you up. Roger, he's running with his tail between his legs and he's got an adder dropping right on his face right now. You see that, valid humans? He's dodged it, son of a bitch, who is that? All right. Drop down right on him. Drop down right on him. Come on. Come on. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Cap gun ACM. I'm all over him. Nothing we can do. Copy, Cap. I'm backing you up. Yep. Maximum speed. Maximum speed. Maximum speed. Maximum speed. Come on, let Maximum me lock him. Speed. Let me lock him. Cap. Maximum Fox 3. Speed. Point blank. Maximum speed. Maximum speed. Cap merge. He's going to be a dead man. Splash. Maximum Grump. Speed. Yeah, got him. Right. Just that pesky hornet now, Sock. Maximum speed. How hard can a bog be to find? There's no stealth attributes at all. Copy. I got eyes on you. I'm backing you up. Oh, I'm down. He shot me. Oh, shit. Any idea how close it was? Any information? No idea. Found you. Right. Found you. Oh, how a bog, bog, bog. Well, this is interesting, but he doesn't much what to do at this point. Um, well, there's Sock. Is he on fire? Yes, that's Sock. Oh, shit, I can't unlock him. Where is Bog? Okay. Make myself a hard target. Go down. That's the first thing. Okay, remember your training from the real pilots. Mark 1 eyeball is your best friend. Utilising Mark 1 eyeball. That's sock into his bod bod. Alrighty then. Start slewing the radar around. Radar left. No hit. Radar right. No hit. Mark 1 eyeball right. Nothing. Mark 1 eyeball left. Nothing. I'm thinking about going radar off at this point. Radar off. Electro optical system on. Now I'm on the electro optical system, so you can't see my radar emission. Not sure where the fuel gauge is, so I'm going to stay low fuel. Right. We're on bullseye, searching for him. Oh, this was a good final match, wasn't it, humanoids? This ends in a dogfight. Don't be surprised. Electro optical left, right. No match. Electro optical left. Nothing. Turn around. Mark one eyeball. Where the heck is he? Who is it? Hey, Cap. Yeah. I think I think you're the only one in a oh, jet right now. Oh, right. Okay. Well done. Jumping out. That would be why I couldn't find him then. Yep. So our plan was to just keep pepping you with missiles, and you're going to either run out of altitude or run out of missiles firing back. That's that's the Russian way of fighting, guys. Right. So we established what happened here. So. First missiles are going out from uh, Sockington, Walkington on one of the guys at 50, 60 miles. Plus comes back a meteor. Missiles cross just over bullseye, as you'd expect. Meteor... Oh, just misses Violet. Wow. I start firing a Grumptastic at 40 nautical miles. Uh, Socks defensive in a good notch. Well done. I start peppering Grump because I know I've got twice as many missiles as him. And if that's your advantage, then use it. Then it all starts getting a bit mess. That's where Violet smacks her face into the uh, ground. Uh, not much to say about that. Uh, Grump notches my missiles. I just keep pumping them, keep pumping and keep pumping them. And eventually, if he's going to hit the ground, he's going to run out of speed. Something's going to happen. What's your thought process at this time? Grumptastic. Stick to the bottom. Stay mm. on the ground. And just keep flying until um, until eventually you'd run out of missiles. But Roger. Jesus Christ, did you ever have so many missiles? Yep. That's the that's really I good thing about missile. Nine o'clock. Missile. Nine o'clock. Missile, 9 o'clock. I'm like, stop! I mean, you've dodged seven missiles, and these are advanced adders. You don't really get a much better missile in the world, so well done. Uh, was, and you've got in and got fair, a shot solution. To be fair, I was uh, about 30 feet off the ground the entire time. Look at that exchange there. So this is what happened. So he's, he's dodged all my missiles and got in for a shot. That's pretty impressive, guys. Bear in mind how outgunned he is here. Fires a missile. It goes past me. I hear Grump, and this... What we think is the Hornet is actually your, your legacy missile. Look at that. <laughs> Try to move through that. And then I just go around for ages trying to find Violet, who I don't realise who is dead at this point. And then finally they tell me. So, interesting one. A minute and 30 seconds. Right, guys, we've got to chalk up some kind of um, debut for that. So, how many has 
Russia and NATO won? Can anyone remember? NATO only won... One? That's what one. my memory tells me. Three to one, then. Three to one, which is kind of what we said at the beginning. I actually thought it would have been more of a thrashing from Russia, bearing in mind that their missiles are roughly equal to Meteor, and we had four times as many as you guys had. So NATO did well to win one. Would they have done better if they had the Eurofighter working at the moment in DCS? Yes. I would have said it would have been a fair fight then, but it's not, and there's not much we can do about that until we get the Eurofighter working again. I'm sure they'll get it working. We'll go and revisit it. That was more or less what we thought. The Russians were supreme, but Europe did actually put up a damn good fight. Did anyone get a kill in the bog? Nope. No, the problem with that is it's got legacy weapons that will travel 20 miles, a legacy ra mechanical radar that will, sh that will aim at 30 miles, you know, whereas we've got the simulation of modern, you know, as best they can, modern AEC radars and these, which will lock at 100 miles in DCS, uh, missiles that fight over 100 miles. So it's 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 a different era of warfare that we've got showing here. Um, these mods aren't perfect, but they're about in the rough ballpark-ish. So no surprises. Debrief points from you guys. I was impressed with how well the Gripen did. Mm -hmm. Good plane. Tiny, but a good plane. I just need to figure out what I'm doing wrong whenever I'm putting my mods in. Uh, something you need to work on. Mods are a bit of an art form, getting them working in DCS like a lot of games. Uh, you need to be, be experienced just to get these things working properly. Good match. Oh, we'll come back when we get the Eurofighter working. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.